ferry to Poilipe from Lankawi. The ferry cost us 150 ringgits each, and you've got to go basically across the road to the mall, like where the jetty is, up these little stairs, and you go into like an immigration office, which is, looks like this. And then you've got to fill out this little bit of paper here, fill out your details, they take your passport, they scan it. Thank you. So you'll have to be at the international departure at 10.30. So it's on the ground floor. Okay. So towards the end, look for international departure. Awesome, thank you. 10.30, thank you. That's an hour before our boat. Also, if you've got any leftover ringgits, there is a money changer in this mall, right by the international departures. Just to pay, enough to pay the tourist um, national park fee, which is 200 baht per person. Uh, you can pay that in ringgits. It's gonna be 35 ringgits per person. Take your passport here, apparently, and then they give it back to you when you get there. If you're lucky. This one? This one. So the passport we keep and you'll get back to the Tokyo immigration. So all we've got left. They've taken our passports. Don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Hopefully we get it back. Although I suppose there's worse places to be stranded. We've got one hour and a half of boat ride now. And we're there. There's also no pier here. So we have to get off this boat into a small boat take us over to the island. So I'm gonna be without my luggage and my passport. Fun. And just like that, for a passport control and I think the reason they take your passport is so you don't run off down the beach when you get here all right we're through took about half an hour all together 200 baht now we've got to try and find our uh, accommodation on we march first stop sim card boom two sims 720 baht 360, uh, 360, 360 each expensive to get cash out on here it's 220 bar per transaction so we got out a fair bit to last us hopefully until we get to the mainland where you can go into a bank with your passport and get money out uh, for free we've just stopped now for uh, a tea we're trying a Thai tea with milk haven't tried it before give it a go Thai tea with milk not heavily sweetened like all of the Malaysian drinks we've had recently, yeah. which is very nice. It's like normal tea on steroids. Mm. I like it. Strong. Nice. Pretty strong, isn't it? You're yeah. a tea lover. Mm. Lovely. There's a lot of hostels here and a lot of mixed storms. Perfect if you're on your own. But if you're uh, if you're in a couple, we found a we've got a reasonably priced double private room here. It doesn't look like a very big room, but as long as there's a bed in there, mate, I don't mind. Here we go. Let's see what it's like. So here's the room. Well, it is private. It is a double bed. And we can just about get our bags in here. This will do for two nights. The size of this room is a blessing in disguise, really, because we have nowhere to leave our stuff everywhere. So we're gonna have to keep everything tidy. Bad. First impressions of Thailand. Bosh. Oh, it is nice here, man. Very, very nice here. The people we've spoken to so far have been really friendly and welcoming. The atmosphere is really nice. Very, very relaxing. Very chilled. Haven't even had any marijuana yet. 
Food is a little bit more expensive than Malaysia. It's just getting more and more expensive as we go on the trip, but hey, that was expected. It's all good. We're uh, just going down the beach now. We're just gonna have a little beach day today. Go snorkeling tomorrow, probably. Maybe today, I don't know. Maybe it's better in the morning though, I think. Yeah, let's go down the beach. Apparently, apparently the beach is a uh, bit top. right next to the beach not bad prices really there's heaps of these little shops too little boutique shops so and loads of like really unique really unique bits love it mate you know you get the smell of incense all hippified oh, look at this imagine that on mushrooms oh Coca-Cola, fuck that. Mm, do love a good shirt. Kind of got enough now. I think if I broke a bone and the ambulance turned up and it looked like this, I'd probably say, nah, I'll just walk. But well, we fancied some fruit, but obviously we're poorists. We can't afford to have the pre-cut stuff. So we bought a whole mango. How good is it to eat it like that? Lekker. A bit sticky. It is pretty sticky, isn't it? That's okay, because I'll go in the sea. Mm. Sunset Beach. Here we come. We love a good sunset, don't we, Nat? What? I thought you were going to lift it. Oh, at this. Straight, so heavy. straight arms, straight Come arms. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? That's so heavy. What the hell? Our first meal in Thailand. It's got to be Pad Thai. Yeah, we were pleasantly surprised by Malaysia. Yeah, I got it. What did you call it? War in the kitchen. Right, on our one day here, we've decided to go snorkeling. Apparently Sunset Beach, Sunrise Beach, is the place to go for snorkeling. But first, gotta get some skewers. Right, here's another top backpacker tip for you. Heaps of cut fruit out here. Pretty good price, really. They were like about 40, uh, 40 baht each. But then you look in here, look how much you get, right? Much better value for money is if you come in here, just get the whole fruit. That's about 48 baht for a whole one. Just gotta get it open, which I'm gonna try and do in a minute. Plus a bit of backstory here. Mm, I've, already, I've already said. Oh, have you? All right. I've already said in the... Uh, what, that I wanted nice pre-cut dragon fruit, but you wouldn't let me? Yeah, because this is like, you get way more for this and it's the same price. Considering it's like, nearly one o'clock and we haven't actually had breakfast or lunch yet you've had two coffees right i've just got to work out how to open this i could just buy it and then we could just suck out the innards well it was your idea to get a hot one so that's how you do it peel it from the top like a banana there's always a way because this is how monkeys eat it <laughs> I, what i need to do is find a bin there is no bins. <sighs> are, they, are you sure they're even? They're not public bins. That's someone's fruit in there. Look at this. Way better value for money. And just as easy to eat. If not easier, once you start peeling it. Way better. What does it taste like? Mm, water. Water? Mm. Yeah, it doesn't have much taste. 
No plastic this way either. Save the oceans. You receive for that or I'm gonna stop you? I'm not illustrating your noise. Thank you. I think you probably said that because I started filming. Snorkeling was awesome here. I'd, mate, if you come here, go snorkeling. We went on the Sunrise Beach, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. Loads of life, loads of coral, um, jellyfish. We're just going to get some lunch now from the Thai place we went to for dinner last night. I'll show you exactly where it is. This place here, really good food, really good prices. This is it, mate. Chicken pad thai. this time yeah mate that place you you've got to go there when you come here go there seriously get get your dinner there mate it's it's so affordable and the flavors are perfect and it's just like this one woman's in there doing it all she'll come over she'll take your order she'll cook it in front of you and she'll take payment at the end she cooks everyone's up mate she's a like, powerful woman man like get your dinner there mate trust me trust me isn't it yes 10 out of 10 10 out of 10, easily. <laughs> 